हे गाइज व्हाट्सअप एन पे स्टडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू एन अदर एक्साइटिंग ब्रेक डाउन सो टू कंप्लीट दिस वीडियो वी नीड थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट स्टॉक क्लिप रोबोट मॉडल एंड हॉवर बोर्ड थ्री डी मॉडल आई डाउनलोडेड दिस टू मॉडल्स फ्रॉम स्केच फाइव आई विल मैंशन द लिंक इन माई वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड अदर लिंक्स विच विल बी नेसेसरी सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑलवेज थ्री डी ट्रैकिंग सो आई ओपन ब्लेंडर एंड आई स्टार्टेड ट्रैकिंग ओवर फुटेज आई हैव अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन दैट टॉपिक एज वेल एज द सेकेंड स्टेप आफ्टर डूइंग कैमरा ट्रैकिंग एंड सॉल्विंग आई विल फिक्स द ओरिएंटेशन to fix your 3d scene orientation we will use blender in build orientation tab and here we can select imbt and assign the origin and we can also define the scale once it done we will create a basic scene just like we will create a ground plane and based on our need we will extrude it and scale it once this is done and you are happy we'll add the lighting for the lighting i use a environment texture which i captured on the same location After this we will add our hoverboard after importing you can combine objects together just like i want to make this in three pieces two pieces will be for the wheels and one piece will be for the body so once i done i parented these three with a null so i can control it later after that to animate this on a certain path i created a curve and i readjusted it according to my scene and then i with the help of follow path constraint i animated my hoverboard and i tweaked it as per need after that i will import our robot model i will rescale reposition and i change the pose because later i want to place a cylinder into a robot hand so that you know the flag will be attached to that cylinder once it done let's link with hoverboard so we can't link two empty together so first i will link my robot with an empty and then i will parent that empty with a cube and later i will parent that cube with a empty which is parented with the hoverboard so that way our robot will also follow the motion of hoverboard and we can also control everything individually the next part is creating the flag so i did some basic extrusion and created a pole type look which will hold the flag and i parented this with our hoverboard empty and for flag i created a basic plane and added some subdivision and i selected some vertices and i assigned them into vertex group so later i can you know hold these and also i created a hook with the selected vertices and i apply a cloth physics and go to the shape option and choose the same vertex group into that and also make sure your hook empty is above the cloth modifier and parent hook empty with your pole this way cloth will follow the pole and after a couple of tweak this is ready for the render Uh, i change the samples to 56 i change the denoises to optics and in the compositor i created a new file output node and i just define the path and also i exporting the combined paths and shadow paths separately so in compositing i can play individually after a couple of more tweaks uh, this video is ready for the render and later i change the flag position and also i change the robot model because the previous one was looks a little skinny for me so i choose this one and this is pretty much it and you can change the material based on your need this is the short breakdown i hope you enjoy this and if you want to know more details about visual effect cgi you can check out our amazing course modern visual effect you can also check out our youtube channel here i have amazing tutorials which i created so yeah take some time and you can go and check all these cool things and i will see you in next video until then keep working keep smiling i am in this ready and i will see you next time bye bye take care